So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your proxies once they've been transferred to you, either via the transfer, Google Drive, or Dropbox. As a remote editor, you normally will be receiving proxies from us unless you're getting the original media. This is how to connect them. So let's go ahead and click over to Premiere and open the program. Once you the program open, you want to go to where you downloaded your file. For us, we're going to go over to our blue cache. We're going to go Benny's brunch so this is what's going to happen it's going to show you that you're missing files for this project so from here what you want to do is you're going to locate the files and for us we put them inside of this folder and normally you're going to put display only exact name to make sure that you're clicking on the right one and then premiere will link everything else for you now when you come here, you're going to see that the file sizes are going to be very small, 1024 by 540. So you can go through the process of adding clip. I follow you now. I can hear that. What we just added here to the timeline is a test. As you can tell, make sure it's set to frame size. Very important to make sure that you're getting the right aspect and camera angles. Let's check the size of it. Properties. Okay, so from here, you go ahead and repeat the process of either looking through the footage, putting a timeline together. Do not worry about the file size. Just make sure that when you're done with this process that you are saving. So let's say that at this point, you already went through the whole timeline, everything is complete, and you're ready to save the file. So the next thing that you would do, you would go ahead and you will come to save as, and you do a Benny's brunch, and you could put underscore. So for me, it would be RT version one. This allows the team to know that the person that worked on this project was Rodrigo Tasca, and this is version one of the project. We'll go ahead and hit save. That is saved to the project. Now you're able to send this file back to me. 